Right, I'd just like to show you today um, how to use a 3 inch HSS um, slitting saw on the mini lathe. Um, a great tool to have. Um, the mandrills and the um, saws are relatively cheap to buy and obviously you can get them in all different thicknesses. Um, so today I'll just show you how to use this. If you have a mini lathe you'll know that you're um, pushed for um, travel on the um, cross slide um, and you wouldn't be able to normally use a slitting saw on here, not a three inch one anyway. Um, so you have to have um, an adaption um, to make it possible. Now what I use for um, doing this uh, sawing on the mini lathe is this small vise here. It has a V in there for um, putting bar in and I've bolted it nice and squarely to a piece of half inch square um, mild steel and then it's fitted into the um, quick change tool post holder um, and I use this both on my Myford lathe and the mini lathe to do various jobs. It's a very very handy setup. So when it goes on the lathe um, tight out up there you can undo the um, locking bolts on the um, quick change tool post and um, if you're on the maximum travel of the cross slide and you haven't got enough room you can slide it to whatever position you want um, to give yourself uh, room between the um, the job and whatever tool you've got in the um, chuck um, for the demonstration I'm going to put a nice square slot um, two millimeter um, wide in the end of this piece of brass bar um, before you start you need to face off the bar and um, do a nice center draw hole in the end and um, that is for lining the um, saw to the center of the bar so put the saw mandrel into the chuck I'm leaving enough um, room at the back um, and tighten that one up um, the brass bar is 19 millimeters diameter and um, it won't actually uh, drop into the V on the vise so I'm locating it on the back face of the vise and, and leave enough overhang for um, the depth of saw cut and just tighten that one in like that then you use the front face of the saw mandrel um, wind the cross slide in and touch the diameter of the bar on the end face of the mandrel to check that you're square um, if not you undo the tool post and move it to the correct position when it's nice and square tighten up again and then you know that you're going to get a nice square slot um, next you wind the carriage in and um, line up the centre drill hole with the centre of the saw. Then um, lock the carriage. Um, you can, this is another modification you can do on the lathe. Um, uh, buy one of these carriage locks. Um, very easy to fit. All you have to do is drill a nice square hole down through there. Um, and you can buy these um, carriage locks from Amadeo or, or, or you can even make your own. So that one's locked. And another modification I've done on mine is I've put two extra screws onto the gib um, strip on the compound slide. Um, brass screws and um, these just tighten down and lock the um, the gib strip and lock the compound slide um, that's another upgrade I'll show you how to do that um, it's um, a nice nice thing to do and, and everything then is absolutely rock solid and you know that it's um, not going to move about for milling and and sawing like this so it's all ready to go but just check there's everything's clear by moving your chuck 
and then I put mine into the low gear and um, start up and just tuck the saw on the end face like that and then you can take it off and see whether you're dead centre on the um, centre hole um, if not you undo the um, locking screws if you have them on the compound and move it in whatever direction you need to get that dead centre and then you can um, put it on and just touch on with the saw again and try again um, to see that you've achieved that so it's all ready to go um, and I give the saw a spray of light oil and the end of the workpiece um, then I start the lathe up and have it running at about 300 rpm and then you can just wind the cross slide in slowly And you can hear that's cutting really well. Um, and also you can see if you look at the um, the tool holder that there is actually no movement at all in the um, tool holder or the compound. It's absolutely rock solid and, and doing a real good job. And you know that the tool holder is going in nice and square and you'll end up with a nice square slot. That's about it. So there we have it, a uh, two millimetre wide um, slot, central in the bar um, and to whatever depth you want to cut it. Um, if it's not deep enough you can obviously just put the holder back in and um, machine a bit more and um, that's the beauty of this setup is that you can take it out as many times as you want to measure up. Um, without disturbing the position of the bar. Um, if you make one up you'll be very pleased with it because it um, gives you the opportunity of uh, machining many different um, items. Um, I use it for all um, quick milling um, jobs, small jobs um, and like I say you can just loosen off the um, uh, bolts on the top of the um, holder and you can slide it to whatever position you want and um, giving you great versatility um, for travel on the um, cross slide so uh, like I say if you make one of those up you'll um, be surprised at how many times you use it on this lathe <laughs>